Welcome back to some more country music trivia. I hope y'all are liking the show. If you are, please let me know in the comments below if you like it. If you don't like it, I'd still love to hear from you and know why you don't like it. What could I do to improve it so you would like it? Also, please, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now so you don't forget about it. And smash that thumbs up button and please leave your comments. All right. Y'all get your pencil and paper or pen and paper and jot down the answers to these and we're going to go over the questions and then at the end we will go over the answers. Then you can see how well you did. Please leave a comment. Let me know how well you did. I would love to hear from you. Y'all, I'm going to go a little slow with these questions so you will have time to write down your answers. Uh... So yeah, let's let's just go ahead and start the fun here. Okay, question number one. Johnny Cash sang a song about an American native who joined the Marines during World War II. And he was also one of the soldiers that raised the flag at Emo Jima. What was this Marine's name? I'm gonna give you just a second to write down the answer to that. And remember, we're going over the answers at the end of the video. Okay, who's saying she's acting single? I'm drinking doubles. Y'all, that was one of my favorite songs. All right, Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton had a long string of country hit singles. What was their last duet single? Dolly Parton starts off this particular song with approximately 30 seconds of yodeling. What was the name of this song? Does anybody even yodel anymore? I still can. In this number one hit from 1985, who is Eddie Raven asking, could you be so kind? Ooh, I love this song. Kitty Wells had a huge hit with It Wasn't God Who Made Honky Tonk Angels. This was the answer song to The Wild Side of Life by what male artist? He is one of my most all-time favorites. What was Hank Snow doing when he said, Your true loving daddy ain't coming back. Before partner, partnering with Conway Tw Twitty for a string of hit duets, Loretta Lynn had a top 40 duet called Mr. and Mrs. Used to Be. Who was the country legend that played Mr. in this song. They had a string of hits also. It wasn't just that one. In the song Distant Drums by Jim Reeves, what was the woman's name in the song? What did Loretta Lynn want Conway Twitty to do when they sang this particular song, Lead Me On? Who was credited as being the original Western Swing, the king of Western Swing? Y'all got to think about this one. It's not who you think. I'll tell you that. What song was regard, regarded as the first million selling record by this female artist?
One of the biggest country hits of 1950s was a cover of In the Jailhouse Now by Webb Pierce, who was credited as doing the original version of this song. He is credited as the singer and the writer of this song. In 1970, Johnny Cash and June Carter won a Grammy for Best Country Duet with this song. What was that song? Who did Brother Mary in the song Ode to Billy Joe? Y'all, that was some good questions there. I hope you did well. Now we're going to go back up to the top and go over the answers. Okay, number one. Ira Hayes. Call him drunken Ira Hayes. He won't answer anymore. I love that song. Number two was Gary Stewart. Number three, if you go, I will follow you. Number four, Tennessee Homesick Blues. Number five, Operator, if you could be so kind. Number six, Hank Thompson. Number seven, moving on. Number eight, Ernest Tubb. Number nine, Mary. Number ten, take control. Loretta wanted Conway to take control. Number 11, Spade Cooley. Now, how many of y'all thought it was Bob Wills? Number 12, I want to be a cowboy sweetheart. Number 13, Jimmy Rogers. Number 14, if I were a carpenter. Number 15, Becky Thompson. All right, how did y'all do? Please let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content. Also check out my other videos on this channel. I have stories of my interactions with certain country music stars. I also have my own music on here. Please check out everything on this channel. Y'all, I'm going to do a big, long series of this country music trivia. No telling how long it's going to be. I expect a long time because I really enjoy this. I hope y'all like it. Please let me know in the comments below. Also, please let me know how well you did or how bad you did. There's no, there's no grade here, so just let me know. Y'all, I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ and just know we're here to have fun and y'all help me keep real country music alive. The best way to do this is for shows like this, other shows that's on YouTube, other than mine, just help keep memory of real country music alive. Also, be sure and check out my music on this channel. I love you all. Until the next time, ciao.